and fire. And an alert Davis County Sheriff's deputy saw smoke and he found fire, just not the way he expected. And now six people have been arrested. New special Sandra Adams live to explain how this whole thing played out. Andrew, explain. Mike, it started as simply as this truck with its hood up, smoke coming from it. And what resulted? The response of three different police agencies and one police dog with a very good nose. <laughs> Every dog has his day. And on this day, Reno. So he's narrowing it down. A Davis County Sheriff's canine highly trained to sniff out illegal drugs. He knows it's high. Go ahead. How did that go, boy? Had his day under circumstances nobody could have foreseen. There was a uh, battery being charged on one of the vehicles with the hood up, and it was smoking quite heavily out of the battery. It was late Thursday night, just off of Highway 89. Sheriff's Deputy Christopher Pope was patrolling and stopped to warn the people inside. When the homeowner answered, I uh, got a, a large odor of, a, of an illegal substance, most namely marijuana. For police, that gives probable cause for a search. Deputies obtained a warrant Shh. and cut Reno loose and got a very human-like response. All of a sudden, here's the ice cream man, sees the ice cream man, and just, oh, there's the ice cream man. Except the dog didn't find ice cream. We found uh, marijuana, methamphetamine, cocaine, uh, mushrooms. Plus, cops say, scales, pipes, baggies, all laid out in this photo. And explosives that were blasting caps. Over 50, according to investigators, powerful enough they require a permit. They told me that they were uh, collecting or trying to uh, pan for gold through in the desert, and they used it for that. Police arrested six people. They say these two men face potential felony charges. Go ahead. Oh, this is a good boy. Yeah. For Reno and the deputies, the case may not be closed. The neighbors in that area full on believe that there is distribution going on. We didn't find any real evidence of that going on in the home, but I do believe there may be more than what we had found. Police now say they've been to the home more than 10 times in the last year and a half, but they say they did what they would have done for everybody, let's simply let the homeowners know there's a potential fire outside. Back to you. Yeah, smart dog too, hi Andrew.